so I am playing catch up on my um, weekly wrap ups and I've ended up doing these bi-weekly because that's been what works best for me but I haven't done one since week seven and I've read a lot of books since then so I'm going to be recording weeks eight and nine wrap up and then I'll do a week 10 and 11 wrap up separate from this um, so this is books that I read from February 19th through March 3rd um, so stick around and see what books I read during that time period hey y'all it's Jen and welcome to my channel if first inklings if you are new around here welcome to my channel and if you're not new I'm glad to see you back so today I'm gonna talk about my books that I've read for the weeks 8 and 9 of 2018 which was February 19th through March 3rd and I know this is the end of March and so I'm a little bit behind on that please forgive me um, but we're gonna dive into this I don't have any books to show you in a stack here because I listened to all of these on audio um, I was going through a major reading slump where I just didn't want to pick up anything including my Kindle and no physical books so I didn't but I did listen to audiobooks and I listened to a lot of them um, I've actually doubled the amount of books I've listened to in 2018 in just the weeks just the month of March um, because I've been flying through these books so if I think about it I'll put pictures up over here so you can see what the books look like but um, I may forget to do that too it just depends on how lazy editing Jen is and I apologize for that if Jen decides to be lazy so the first book I'm gonna talk about I read for the um, book hangover book club book hangover book club yes um, it was our book of the month for February and that is American Queen by Sierra Simone this is an adult erotica book that is what that book club is it is adult erotica um, and that is what this book is um, I actually really enjoyed it um, I gave it four stars and the concept is that this girl meets a guy there's a 10 year age difference she happens to be 16 and he is 26 and um, it's just a one night meeting that they meet up at this elegant party um, nothing happens at the party because of the age difference she is the granddaughter of an ex vice president um, so 10 years go by and the man that she met at that party um, she has been infatuated with all along but the man that she meets at that party happens to be the current president and 10 years later he's the president 10 years later and um, his wife had re had died and he sends his vice pre president to find her um, and then the story picks up from there like I said it is an erotic novel um, it was very good it was very well written I gave it four stars it is the first book in a series the second one is American Prince and the third one I believe is called American King and I've heard that the rest of the books are crap um, I haven't read them yet but um, the second book follows my favorite character in the book so I may give it a try I don't know uh, but I did listen to that on audio and I did borrow that one from my library through the Hoopla app the next book that I read is was a graphic novel called friends with boys by faith Aaron Hicks um, I did read this as part of contemporary a thon but I didn't finish it at the end of contemporary a thon I finished it later because I could not get into this this book I hated it okay hates a strong word I just didn't like it I gave it two stars um, I did read it as part of a prompt for the book riot read harder challenge and that one was a comic written and illustrated by the same person 
which I have it marked as prompt number four. Um, and it was a con kind of a contemporary, I don't know what the point of this graphic novel was. I didn't like it. Um, I know it, I mean, it followed a family, a girl who was raised by her dad and her, she had four older, three older brothers. And then the, it was her going off to high school from being homeschooled all along. And I, I just never saw the real point of this. It, nothing kind of wrapped up. She meets some other kids that are kind of outcasts. And I, it just, there was no point to this for me. Um, maybe I just didn't get it, but I didn't get it. And um, I only gave it two stars. I did also check that one out from my library. So the next book that I finished was actually my in real life book club book um it was our february book i didn't finish it until the first couple of days of march but that was the power by naomi alderman and uh, this is an adult sci-fi fantasy type book i did purchase this one from audible because my library didn't it had such a hold on it i didn't get it in time um, but I, I gave it four stars and, but to say I enjoyed it would be inaccurate. I did not enjoy this book, but it is a book that made me really think. Um, and it was fairly well written. And the best description of this book I can give you is that it is a book, a kind of, Kind of showing you human nature and but from a woman's perspective the book starts out with men being in charge men being the brutes that they can be where they are um women are vulnerable but women especially the younger ones have developed this power that basically sends electrical charges through their body and so they can shock and electrocute somebody else that they touch. Um, and it is spurred on by um, adrenaline, fear, that kind of thing. The younger women, the younger girls can awaken this power in the in older women. Um, and with anything, with great power, there is always people that are going to abuse this power. And by the end of the book, the women are no better than the men that started the book at the beginning of the book. Um, and But it kind of is told through a historical point of view, like you're going through a museum, seeing ancient artifacts and getting this story through almost a historical type telling. It's billed as being a really feminist book it really left me with a bad feeling, bad taste in my mouth, what, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was a horrific book based on the potential. Um, and almost, women almost seem to be more ruthless than men having this power, this ultimate power. Um, it's definitely a book that I think people should read and because it does make you think and that's all I can say about it because there are so many things that I want to talk about with this book but I don't know how to form them into words because it was almost horrifying the way that over just a matter of 10 years really women became absolute brutal and heartless and atrocious and it was a powerful book for sure moving on the next one that i read was a book called rules by cynthia lord this is a middle grade book that i checked out from my library i used through my my overdrive app and it follows a girl who has an autistic brother and her struggles with having this autistic brother. Um, 
and how it affects her life. I thought it was really well written. The brother who has autism was a little bit more severely autistic than um, high functioning autism. Not that he wasn't smart, but he just had a deeper level of, of autism. Um, and I don't know how to explain it any better than that. Uh, but I did think it was really interesting to read. I thought it was a well-written book about autism from a sibling's point of view and how a sibling would could ultimately feel neglected because all of the attention and care is going to her autistic sibling. Um, I gave this one four stars. The next one I read was also a book about autism and it was Colin Fisher by Ashley Edward Miller. Um, it is a young adult novel. I listened to this one on audio, checked out from my li library through their Overdrive app. I actually gave this one five stars. This one follows an, a high school autistic boy who gets involved in trying to solve a crime. Um, ultimately, a gun is brought to school and it is discovered. Nobody is killed or anything like that. It just, but it does go off and everybody, you know, but the boy that is accused of the crime of bringing this gun to school and is up for expulsion is um, a bully that has that Colin has dealt with forever, but he learns that it wasn't him Through his observations and all that he realizes it couldn't have been this kid and He sets out to prove that this boy that has been his bully for so long is innocent and I found that the autism this Colin has high-functioning autism Um, what originally was termed as as Asperger's um, but I found this book really enjoyable it goes into details about certain topics um, you get these little fun facts along the way because Colin definitely is an information um, sponge and he seeks out knowledge and on different things so you get that aspect of the he Asperger's um, which I find found to be extremely realistic um, my niece does that at nine years old she is the world's expert on everything especially if you ask her and Colin was that way too but it also showed his how he dealt with anxiety and stressful situations and some of the other not so fun sides of the autism spectrum well, and I guess this is considered a middle grade book and not just a young adult, not just young adult, but middle grade as well. Um, and like I said, I gave it five stars. The next book that I finished was, so the next book that I listened to was As You Wish by Carrie Ulls. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but this is the memoir based on the movie and the experience of being in the movie of the princess bride i'm a huge princess bride fan as is most people who grew up in the 80s and 90s and so i've been looking forward to this memoir for a long time um, it is actually narrated by carrie but it does have a cast of characters all the ones that are still alive today with the exception of one or two had their own little parts that they talked about and read in the audio version of this, um, which I did borrow from my library through the Overdrive app. Um, I gave this one five stars. I found it extremely entertaining, even though most of the information I already knew from various different um, mediums that I have learned over the years about the characters of the about the actual actors of the movie and I also took my niece last year for their 25th anniversary of the movie um, one of my local movie theaters did a rerun of it and at the beginning of it there was kind of a sit down with the with with the director and all that um, 
and at the, a little bit at the end as well where they talked about some of the things that are in this book but again it was extremely enjoyable I loved being able to listen to Carrie talk about his experience with the movie and even some of the his experiences with the rest of the cast you could tell that this movie was very impactful on the rest of the cast and crew as well this book did also fulfill one of my book riot read harder challenges and that is prompt number 12 a celebrity memoir that is it for my wrap up of weeks eight and nine and the books that i read during that time period as you can tell i read a lot of great books that week those two weeks and um, and it was a very enjoyable experience. Most of those were audiobooks, with the exception of the two graphic novels. So, let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books or if you are planning to read any of them. Let me know what you thought of them if you have read them. I'm always interested in um, having a conversation about the books that I read. That's why we are here. Um, so, I would definitely be interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions on these books. Do they differ from mine or are they similar? As always, if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up over there. Also, you can hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it to be notified when I upload more videos. Also, be sure and follow me on social media. I have all of the links down below and I do update all of my books on Goodreads as I'm reading them and as I finish reading them so you can see my thoughts on the books that I'm currently reading as well over there. As always, until next time, bye.